G'day guys, welcome back to the Devon Tugan Investing Channel. Today in this video, we're going to be having another look into Dropbox and we're going to be analyzing their Q4 2021 earnings and their full year results. So guys, before we get into it, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel as Dropbox is a stock that I like to follow and it is one that I hold in my own personal portfolio. So let's dive right in. So for the full year of 2021, Dropbox came in with revenue of $2.158 billion, up 12.7% year over year, and on a constant currency basis, up 11.1% year over year. And as a result of that, they came in with three cash flow of $707.7 million, which was a huge increase from last year where they actually grew three cash flow over 40 percent year over year which is just incredible and you're going to be delighted with these results if you're a dropbox shareholder um, if we scroll down we can see that the arr their annual reoccurring revenue ended the year at 2.261 billion dollars and they just keep increasing this 10 percent double digits year after year after year which is you know if you're looking for a business that is consistent and pretty much always delivers uh, I really do think Dropbox is that business and we can see other key metrics here the paying users ended the year at 16.79 million users as compared to 15.48 million users in the same period last year so pretty much quarter after quarter, Dropbox are adding very consistently 300,000 new paying users every quarter. And on top of that, every quarter they're also increasing the average revenue per user, otherwise known as ARPU, and now it's sitting at $134.78 uh, $134 per user, which is up modestly from last year. You can see that they've also expanded margins over last year, which is great to see. Gross margin is now sitting at 79.5% compared to 79%. And then the uh, non-gap gross margin is actually 0.8% uh, higher than the previous year. So, you know, every, every metric is getting better. That's what we like to see. And then also... Gap operating margin is sitting at 12.4% and it was actually negative last year. But the non gap operating margin is at almost 30%. So they've grown that quite a lot as well. No surprise there. The next lot of big news that will delight shareholders is they have been authorized to repurchase another $1.2 billion of their stock. This is actually quite a considerable amount considering that Dropbox right now is trading at $9 billion. So it's well over 10% of their stock that they could repurchase with this um, repurchase agreement. So that's going to be really great to see that share count decrease over time. And we'll get, we'll, we'll talk about that more later in this video. I think this slide here really exemplifies Dropbox's business. So People will say, oh yeah, like, you know, it's a slow growth cloud company, but, you know, it does, it's not growing at 30% or even 20% like some of these other businesses out there, but just look how bloody consistent it is. Just double digit growth year in, year out. It's very linear. They're expanding their margins, their operational efficiency is increasing. They've gotten rid of a bunch of their physical real estate which is as a result increasing their margins they're expanding their ARPU which is also increasing their margins we can see if we come to this slide here their annual reoccurring revenue is consistently increasing at you know 50 million dollars approximately each quarter every quarter same with the paying users they're adding 300,000 more paying users every quarter and pretty much Every quarter, the ARPU is increasing, you know, around 70 cents to a dollar consistently, quarter in, quarter out, which, 
or it, it makes it very easy for someone like me to come analyze a business and you know make a prediction on where uh, you know revenues and free cash flow and paying users will be out in the future which is it, it makes it makes me have higher conviction in my valuations and as such Dropbox have actually raised their long-term margin targets so before this non-gap gross margin they, they were targeting 78 to 80 percent but now they're targeting 80 to 82 percent and before this non-gap operating margin they were targeting 28 to 30 percent but now it's actually targeting uh, 30 percent to 32 percent which is a nice bonus and they have also reiterated that they're still on target to hit one billion dollars in free cash flow by 2024 which i think they will comfortably do that and that's one of the big reasons why i was investing in dropbox i saw that hey they were gonna grow free cash flow insanely quickly due to their expanding margins and that they were just getting rid of a lot of operational costs that they didn't really need and at the same time they've been buying back a bunch of shares so and also the market's just been severely like undervaluing uh you know their their business just in general and we'll have a look at it right now all right so now it, for the valuation i've put in the one billion dollars in 2024 free cash flow and here i've estimated what i think their shares outstanding will be so as of q4 2021 they had shares outstanding of about 386.5 million shares and i should probably share with you how i got 321 as my estimation so uh, Dropbox have been approved for a $1.2 billion buyback and also they still have $300 million or so authorized for their current buyback plan. So that puts us at $1.5 billion. So if we go $1.5 divided by their current market cap of approximately $9 billion, with this they're going to be able to purchase back about 16.67% of the shares. So then if we take the current shares so 386.5 and times it out by one minus uh, 0.167 like that that gives us our shares right here so you can see these numbers are pretty much the same. So this gives us our 2024 shares outstanding. And then if we factor in a three cash flow multiple in 2024 of 15, which by the way is fairly conservative and well below their historical multiple average for free cash flow, that brings us at a price target of $46.59 per share. And if we run a CAGR out on that, that gives us a 28% per year return. So just to confirm with you guys, this here is the historical market cap to free cash flow multiple that his, that Dropbox has historically traded at. And this data goes back to September of 2018. And you can see the mean is 20.77 times and Right now, actually, we're at the lowest Dropbox has ever traded in terms of market cap to three cash flow at 12.3. So even if we were to assume that, you know, we just stay at 12.3, that's still a 19% CAGR. And, you know, if we get back to the historical average of 20, you know, that's what we're, we're looking at a $62 share price with a 41% CAGR. Um, it would take quite a bit of work to get back up to that multiple but i think 15 is pretty fair and 28 percent is an insane return especially given that i'm pretty damn confident dropbox can uh, meet these targets it's just a matter of the market waking up to themselves and recognizing what's here so good thing i'm here early um but yeah guys if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.